Hey Zen Seekers, let's talk about our immune system and staying healthy. Most of us know that things like adequate water and rest help as well as vitamins like C, D, E, a lot of the alphabet vitamins, the zinc and elderberry can help boost our immune system. But here are a few other easy and quick ways that we can help boost our immune system and strengthen our breathing and lungs. The first one is called the thiamus thump and it helps pump up the thiamus gland which actually shrinks once we hit puberty and it's good to plump it up so we can stay healthy. It boosts our immunity, it gives us an energy boost, and it calms our anxiety, our monkey mind. So you just have to find that middle bone right there and just give it a thump like a gorilla. Thump along with me. It's very simple. Just do this a few times a day. You'll find it. If it's tender, that means it needs it more. Don't hurt yourself, but just give it a little extra care. Thumping on that. Keep breathing. And take the energy that you collected, shake it out. The next one is called the Lung Meridian Massage and it gets the energy flowing to the lungs and the lungs are an organ that can detoxify 70% of the toxins in our body if we exhale correctly, if we breathe and exhale it out correctly. It can also open the lungs and it moves the lymphatic system, things in the lymphatic system and helps flush them all out. So if you just find your collarbone, it's usually people have a little lump there or the, an indent. It's just like right from your shoulder down. I have an indent. Just push on it, thump on it, massage it. It's like the top part of your lungs. And then you can work your way down if you want on the sides of the thiamus. They go along the sides too. So just massage that with me. Keep breathing. <sighs> Flushing it out. <sighs> Massaging all along that. If it's tender, I'm not tender today, but sometimes I am. Keep rubbing, pressing, tapping, patting. Oh, I'm a little tender on my left side right there. Just massage it and breathe. Okay, then sit with that for a while. See if that if you can feel things moving through your body, buzzing through your body, that energy. Next one is called a neck stretch, and I really love this one. I've been doing this one without knowing it's been labeled or anything. It's similar to what I have been doing. I have been plagued with ear issues and throat issues my whole life. Of course, I could tell you all of the um, symbolic reasons that that has happened to me, maybe for another time. But for now, I, I just want to show you what this can do for you. And if you want to do this with oil or lotion, so things slide along your neck easier, you're going to be sliding along your neck and up to your ear. So if you want to pause and do that, get some lotion or oil, it works a lot better. My skin really catches in the neck area. Might be the age, I'm just not sure. So this can help you with the fight, flight, or freeze, the, the um, amygdala in our brain. It can help calm that. 
it can help with sore throats and like I said it can help clear your ear canals your the whole that whole glands and system down in there it kind of flushes it out so you start from your jaw and and sweep up to behind your ear press a little and then go down the side of your neck and hold at your heart I do that because I can hear my ears popping when I do it. Let's try that a few more times on the same side. Jawline, rubbing, you're, you're healing yourself. Pressing down and really press like you're pushing, squeezing out liquid out of a tube or gel. And hold to your heart. One more time, rubbing all the way up to the back of your ear and then down the side of your neck, holding at your heart. Let's shake that energy out because our hand collects it. As we're doing that, let's do it on this side. Sliding up behind your ear, then down to your heart. Again. Up the jawline to the back of your ear, slide down to your heart. Last time, slide up to the back of your ear and down. And let's hold it with both hands to our heart. Big breath. <sighs> Starting to feel good. The last thing is a big qigong practice and qi is life force energy, prana. It, it's the healing energy that's within us. We can heal ourselves. So I want you to take your hands and rub them together. Get some heat going, get some qi going. Now hold them apart from one another and see what you can feel. You might even be able to feel energy between your hands. You can even manipulate it, almost like a ball or a big squishy ball. You should probably will be able to hear it. Feel it. I can hear it. I don't know if you can, but you'll be able to feel it probably. So I want you to take that chi, that precious commodity that is healing, and scoop down to the earth to add more treasures in the earth. Then scoop up to the sky, all of the stardust in the sky, all of the ethers. Then just smooth it over your face, your head. You probably will be able to feel the heat, the chi, all the way down like you're scanning your body adding chi to it all the way down your torso. Try it again. Gather up the chi from the bottom all the way up to the stars. Gather some magic up there and then smothering that chi over your body. Healthful, nurturing chi. This time, exhale when you're gathering it. And then when it goes over you, inhale it all. Take it all in. All of that nurturing, loving, healing chi. One more time, exhale, gathering it all up. And smothering the most precious gems on earth over you. May you be healthy always. Namaste.